the Internet of Things, systems and applications have the ability to change the lives of billions of people all over the world. This is not wishful thinking, as we can see from the very substantial, comprehensive and sustainable solutions developed and the huge value that they have added in multiple and diverse use cases, lines of business and regions. The first mile focus of IoT deployments will see greater emphasis on the data upstreaming capability of smart devices into the cloud. And that in turn will allow for solutions to be developed to address the last mile constraints experienced by industries like telecommunications and e-commerce in executing the final fulfillment step to the customer. Future IoT installations will migrate us to the fifth wave of computing, which will see the integration of AI, IoT and 5G communications, thus allowing us to deploy low latency solutions with high speed communications or native intelligence. This will streamline large systems and reduce waste while enhancing service by creating a distributed intelligence network that will self-learn and self-heal. There are, however, several factors that need to be considered as these solutions and this technology become a greater part of our normal day-to-day -day existence. We will need to consider critical solutions in the area of security, privacy and removing latency as key parts of the road forward, with security in particular being a point of focus. The applications that we have seen so far illustrate the dependence on connectivity. This requires a system architecture that provides both adequate and resilient connectivity. This needs to cater for both large numbers of devices spread over a wide terrain, often rural, as well as the required speeds and reliability. All of this must be done at the low cost needed to make this a viable solution. Something simple like connectivity in remote regions will involve adding a SIM card to a device and can immediately escalate costs as there's the cost of the SIM card, the cost of fitting it to the device, activating and provisioning it on the network, and then the cost of ensuring that a data bundle is attached to the device for use as needed. An eSIM, basically a software version of a SIM card, or even Wi-Fi or Bluetooth for clustered systems, will make this easier over time, of course. The need for this type of connectivity enablement and the ability to connect trillions of devices are why 5G and IP version 6 are crucial to the viability of this vision. These systems are often invisible and easily forgotten about, so it's important that preventative maintenance programs are implemented to ensure peak operations over extended periods or even eliminating the need for maintenance at all. A further challenge is resilience to system interruptions such as connectivity loss or degradation. These systems need to be developed with a fail-safe mindset so that offline operations or restarts and reconnections are catered for. The tsunami of data likely to be unleashed from large-scale rollouts will likely overwhelm existing networks and even place cloud applications under strain. A large volume of the data generated is very tactical in nature and likely does not need to be sent into the cloud. This will be an opportunity for fog computing or fog networking, also known as fogging, to enter the frame. Fog computing is an architecture that uses edge devices to carry out a substantial amount of computation, storage and communication locally and to process it further so that it only sends the necessary thinner data streams into the cloud. A very important element is the valuable data collected and the ability for quick and remote analysis and activations. The data in many installations is key to identifying trends or helping to build machine learning or AI capability. This requires that planners think about where to place the computing capability. Heavy analytics and data processing, as well as the drive to lower latency of systems, will be key considerations in future architectural designs. The best example of this today is in self-driving cars, which are latency intolerant. If one uses facial recognition for access control, one might deploy that locally, as we have done with smartphones. But something like health data may need to be cloud-centric for processing. These considerations will likely be the major reasons for the integration of AI into these IoT systems so that they can learn, analyze and actualize locally. Privacy and security are the final area of challenge. The data streams created will, by their very nature, contain personal details of the lives of millions of citizens. Security and privacy considerations will therefore need to be designed in from the start, with optimal choices being made on the state of the art at the time. The encryption, transport, processing and storage of this data 
will become increasingly important going forward, with access rules remaining to be defined. On-device secure storage could be preferable to sending data out across networks of unknown integrity. Securing these systems will be an ongoing design challenge and will require careful evaluation by those constructing them. The multitude of security breaches that we are seeing at major institutions today are largely because of weak design principles and a lack of compliance to best practice. Ecosystems are now available that are secure by design and embed security at the heart of their design and build principles. It should be apparent that the future ain't what it used to be and that many forces still need to converge to allow our likely end game to emerge. It's already clear from the multitude of positive and socially redeeming use cases and the large benefits already being de derived that we are at the cusp of the fifth wave of technology, enhancing the lives of humanity even more. The convergence of AI, 5G and IoT does hold the promise of seemingly unlimited potential in deepening and widening the value that more granular and atomic deployments of technology into our day-to-day -day lives can provide. The journey will no doubt be inspiring and exciting and will provide many challenges, which the abundance of human ingenuity will be leveraged to address.